one of the things, you know, what's really interesting to me is the Muslims had no interest in proving the existence of God. Their obsession was proving the prophecy of the Prophet. All their books are about proving he was a prophet. Because if you prove he was a prophet, ipso facto, <laughs> there must be a God because he sent him. So their whole thing was to prove, I mean, Imam al Bayhaqi wrote a huge uh, multi volume work called Dala'il al Nabuwa. And he said, here's the proof that he's a prophet. The Prophet ﷺ predicted many, many things that have come true. That in the seventh, in the seventh century in Arabia, it just would not have been possible to, to, to predict those things, or, or they wouldn't even occur to people. And people say, oh, "Well, Nostradamus did that. So what? Is he a prophet?" I mean, the predictions of Nostradamus are so obscure. Uh, and anyway, there's an argument that he he had access to certain Jewish tradition because they had the signs of the end of time as well. So it's not, you know, there are definitely signs that have not come. And all the, the Buddhists have signs of the end of time, the Hindus have signs, the Kali Yuga, age, you know, the Hindus talk about uh, the signs when uh, children will no longer obey their parents. Um, I mean, the p parents have always had trouble with children, but not like today. I mean, something is very different, which doesn't mean the end of times around the corner. You know, I'm not, I'm, and I'm not suggesting that, and I think that's a dangerous approach to take, but it's certainly closer than it was 1,400 years ago, and, and arguably much closer. And there are many signs that should be troubling to people. The Prophet predicted same-sex marriage. I mean, that's a sound hadith. He said the end of time will not come until a man marries a man, and a woman marries a woman. And we have no evidence in human history that that was ever we have no evidence that any culture has ever sanctioned same-sex marriage. But he said it will be one of the signs of the end of time. He said, you will see nikah al-rajal al-rajal wa nikah al-mar'ati al-mar'a. And nikah here means clearly marriage because homosexuality existed. So he wasn't talking about homosexuality or, or, or musahaqa. He was talking about marriage. <laughs> so, you know, he predicted that the the... The, the buildings of Mecca would surpass the mountains. I mean, who could have thought of that in the seventh century of Arabia? Who could have thought of that? He predicted that people, uh, he predicted that people would fly uh, in the air. He predicted that people would go out of their houses with uh, things on their thighs that would tell them what was happening back in their families. He said that people would talk to shiraku na'alihi, which in Arabic, shiraku na'al is this. That's the, that is what a shiraku na'al is, which is the universal sign today for telephone. And he said a man will talk to his shiraku na'al. You know, that's how people say it, right? The, the Arabs call that shiraku na'al. So all of those are aspects of the Prophet. And then the fact that he was predicted by previous revelations. I mean, we, we have, he's, he's predicted in the Dhammapada. There's a Hindu professor that proved that he was predicted in the scriptures in Sanskrit. I mean, he, he wrote a whole book on, on the Kalki avatar. And he, said he didn't become Muslim. That's what's so weird about it. But he said there's, it could be nobody else but, the, but Muhammad. It has to be him. You know, so he was predicted in the Old Testament. They, I mean, what was Salman of Pharisee doing in Arabia? He was looking for the last prophet. He'd been told about him. What, what was, why were the Jews in Yathrib? And there's a lot of nice places to live for the Jews at that time. I mean, they came from Sham. Why would they live in Yathrib, middle of the Arabian desert? Because they actually believed that the last prophet was coming from that place. There were rabbis in Yemen who knew that he was coming. 80 years before the Prophet came, was born, there was a, a Yemeni chieftain that tried to take over Medina, and when he found out it was the place of the last Prophet, he made a waqf, which is where the Prophet's house was. And he said, I want this to be where the, that Prophet lives. I mean, these are all recorded. The Prophet ﷺ predicted the the Baghdad is predicted, um, the circular city that would be destroyed. 
uh, many, many things. So, you know, in the end, man al yu'min, whoever wants, let him believe. Well, man al yakfur, whoever wants, let him disbelieve. It's, it's a choice. In the end of the day, it is a choice. Let people believe, let them disbelieve. You know, it's a choice. What we should strive for is common weal, right? We should have even secular values acknowledge common weal.